Hi guys, it's Kobe here and in today's video we are going to talk about the more extrude in the more graph menu of Sigma 4D and we will try to see how we use it to create something simple like this simple scene I created here. So let's get into Sigma 4D and let's talk about the more extrude. So I'll close this one and I'll minimize it and this is the same, same scene in here but for now let's actually create a new scene and now Let's come into our more graph menu and down here we have our more extrude and you can see we have that same blue color like the poly effects because it works like a deformer. It's basically a deformer and it needs to be a child or a sibling to an object before it actually starts affecting it. So I'll come in here and I'll create um, a plane, just a simple plane to explain what, how it works. All I have to do is to make it a child of the plane and all of a sudden you see it's now extruding every poly every polygon of the plane if i uncheck it you can see and let's actually change the display to garage shading you can see it's extruding every polygon so basically it extrudes polygons but the difference between this and the normal extrude or something like the matrix extrude is that this one gives you the ability to be able to add more graph effectors and stuff so the how why it's extruding it this way is if you come to it attribute manager and come to the transform you can see on the position on it's set to five centimeters centimeters on the z meaning it's going on the z axis of the normal of this polygon five centimeters that's why it's moving up and you can see if you check at the tip it begins to sort of scale down and that's because it's set here like reduced um 0 0.9 0 0.98 0 0.98 so if i should reduce it you can see what's happening all right so it can also be done let me uncheck undo this one right so now let's come back we can also move it to the side same way and rotate it use it to rotate stuff so so basically that's what the transform does but let's come to the object tab and see what's there so you can see we have transform and in there we have two forms so we have from root and from pair step right so now i set to from root so the from root basically means that everything we do it, it, everything we do to this particular um, um the every polygon it acts as one object and i'll explain better using effectors for now i'll we we'll set it to from root and let's talk about the other part this down here is polygon selection so if i have some polygon selection here for instance let me make this um this one the plain um, editable then I'll set I'll select some polygons. I'll use the selection to, to select some random polygons in here. Then I come to selection and I'll say store selection. Right, so now we have our selection here. So all I have to do is in the more extrude, I can drag in this selection, and that those are the only places that it's going to be affected. Right? And now sweep spline. Basically, we can also use spline to actually determine how the extrude goes so actually let me use a different object so i'll use something like a platonic object in here then now we will come in here and create a more extrude make it a child of the platonic and you can see it's doing the regular extruding the platonic we can simply um come to for instance let's create a normal spline let's see um arc right let's use the arc as a spline and it select the more extrude you can drag in this arc and you can see now it's trying to follow it's following the shape of the arc so all the extrude will extrude following the shape of the arc so if i should come into the arc and increase the radius you can see it's affecting it in fact we can come into the platonic come to i am in the more extrude and increase the step so that it will be smoother in here right now you can go back to the arc and now if i change the angle you can see it's sort of growing in and out so you can use every any um spline that you want in here so basically that's what the swift spline does but the real advantage comes when you are using it with effectors so i'll now um delete all of this and start our first so i'll actually come in here and i'll create a new plane right and we'll go ahead and add armor extrude we have it in the 
object tab here so in fact down here so you can see you have our more true down here so i can make it a child and it, it, the same thing happens so now let me actually start affect using effectors so if i make the more true selected i can come to more graph effectors and i'll add plane effector and you can see it's beginning it's already shifting it on the y of um the plane and the reason why it's not moving it up is because of the polygon normals which later in another tutorial i'll talk about because of the normals of the polygons that's why it's moving it on that angle so if you go into our plane effector and come to the um, parameters you can actually change it and push it on the z right and you can see it's affecting um the object moving upwards but if you see it's moving the base and the segments are still there so if i go back to the more extrude you can see we have four segments and those four segments are still there but it's extruding from the root um, so that's why the root that's how the root is set from it's not affecting any of the segments but if i change it to something like let me actually first of all reduce the plane or reduce it to something like two because if or three will be fine if i change it to per step come to the move and change it to per step and see now it moves it up and let me now go back into the plane effector and actually you can see what's happening it's not moving just the base but it's moving every segment or every you know um edge in here so it extrudes it per every segment not just extruding it from the base and leaving the segment so that's the difference between the pair step and the um from roots and when you have the pair step on you basically automatically you don't have the spline shape in here but that's fine so now we, we have our plane effector affecting it so we can come in here and do our regular effector stuff come to our other fields and other um plane um a linear field so you can now move it let it grow in and out add every all of the fields and everything so that's basically all about the more extrude so i use the same basic principle to actually create this particular scene so i'll come to this scene here and it's just a normal text right and i actually didn't even take so much time to actually so let me select for instance the this particular one now edit copy and I'll come to um, file and I'll paste it here. So this is just the letter O, right? And all I did was, let me actually hide everything for now. And you can see, or we can actually start from scratch. I'll select the T and drag it out and you hide this, right? And all I did was in the T, I'll bring it, uh, let me center it. And now, so in the in the um, O letter O, all I did was I make sure I went to its um, caps, make sure I set to uh, regular grid. So I'll change the shade, and you can see set to regular grid, and I make sure it's quad dominated. And I also in the object I change the adapt the adaptive um, intermediate point to a subdiv um, subdivided, right? and make sure everything we have enough um squares in here i didn't want to make it too dense because one thing about the more extrude that if you have a very dense um object it becomes it becomes very very slow so it's not really good in using it for a very dense mesh object so that's why i actually make sure i have just enough to actually use the most more extrude on and the next thing is after I had this one, I mean, if you have, you want, you can actually take time to actually um, cut down your text object that you want so that you get proper um, well spaced quads and stuff like that. But this one was just a quick sample. So after all, I after this, I was okay with it. I added my more extrude, so we can go ahead and do that. So in, I'll come in here to more more extrude, and I'll make it a chart. And now. It's extruding it. We make sure our text, everything is fine. You can see now it's extruding it from the roots, right? Basically. So now all we have to do is to come into our um, select our more extrude and come to effectors, plane effector, 
and now we change it to zero um in them so let me actually come to the more extrude what i'll do in the more extrude i come to the transform and i'll make sure this one is set to zero the transform is set to zero and also one by one by one here so that everything looks plain All right and now i'll use the plane effector rather to extrude it so i'll now extrude it up like that maybe 30 is fine then all you have to do is now use field. So I'll add field, plain field. I'll make it smaller a bit. And now you can use it um, to control our growth. So basically that's all I did. But I actually used the growth if grow effect. And that one, there was a bit of trick in it. So for instance, with our plane effector extruding it, we'll select our plane and come into our fields and we will use the what we've been doing if you've been following the previous tutorials we will come into our um, modifiers and we will use the freeze modifier and ideally it should have stored this state but it's not working so right what we want to do is now we want to let it grow on so we will use something to trigger it so for instance i'll use the typically sphere car field on top of it yeah and i'll make it a little bit smaller right and I'll come into my freeze, come down to its properties, and I'll change the mode from none to grow. And now, if we hit play, ideally it's supposed to grow, right? So maybe let's increase the um, radius to see probably that's a real issue. But still, nothing happens. And I don't know if it's a bug or it's something I'm not doing right or something. But the grow seems not to be working directly with the more extrude right so that's my issue with the more extrude using the growth but still like as always you have to find a way around it and how i figured out to do that there are a couple of ways but i'm actually going to use um an inbuilt one there's a plugin that made it a bit easy or a script that made it a bit easier for me but also there is a simple way like i can simply use the correction deformer to generate some sort of um vertex weight map or something then i'll use that one to grow and affect it so let's actually do that so i come to my deformers right and i'm actually going to use the correction deformer which is somewhere in here correction deformer which is this one so i'll make the correction deformer a child of the text and now nothing happens but if we change the mode see if we change the mode to points and have our question if I'm selected. You can see now we have access to the points and all of those things and stuff. So even the polygons and stuff. So what we can do is now let's hit control it, select all polygons. And you can come in here, selection, and you see set vertex width. I say okay. And now in the vertex width, we can instead of using the growth effect in this particular plane, I'll use it in the vertex width. So now let's go back. So Let's go into our vertex weight first of all and make sure in the basic field you check use fields and you come to the fields and now you can see we have our freeze layer in there right so in the vertex weight if we can make sure our, um we selected the vertex you can see we have the vertex all set to this point so now let's get into the field actually fields and now in the freeze we are cool we will now add our spherical field on top of this so add spherical field and you can see now it's selecting so all the place which is yellow are those place selected and the ones red are the ones not selected so i'll make it um i'll reduce the size of the spherical field a little bit and i'm not going to delete the first one we created because we wouldn't use it so i'll come back here and in the spherical field you see it's set to match everything is fine so i'll come into the freeze and now i'll change the mode to grow and now probably increase the radius a little bit and if you make our correction before my selected you can see um our object sphere uh, correction deformer and now let's hit play to see what actually happens in there uh oh, let's double click to make sure this one is selected yeah so we double click on it and you can see if i go back and hit play can see it's quickly growing so i mean the radius is quite high so we can actually come again into the freeze and reduce the effects 
right and now hit play and you can see it's growing on still quite fast so i reduce the radius to maybe 10 and now let's hit play and you can see what's happening now it's growing basically so this is what i use then it, instead of using the straight cut like using this um, all those things here i'll actually delete this freeze in the plane effect i recreated earlier so i'll delete this freeze and i'll drag in this vertex which we created to control this particular plane right so now if i enable the more extrude now let's go back you can see now that's what's happening so this this particular vertex weight is driving the plane right so now it's now using it to extrude do the more extrude so if i hit play you can see how it grew on so that's basically what i did even though i use a different object and a script someone created to do that but you can use the correction deformer to also drive um the plane effector like this so that's how i use it to grow on the the the, the text and you can use it to do other interesting stuff as well so now let me go back into our original object and you can see basically how it works so that's all it just the text are just grow, growing on and with uh, cameras created you know giving us um different angles so basically if i come in here and i'll say check stage so we have this angle here different different angles too basically it so that's basically all for now i'll uncheck so what i did with the cameras is i actually created three different um cameras one was the so this one was the last part and this one was the last camera and the other part was um this camera so where is it so there's this camera and there's this other camera it was just a quick cam camera placed around and i used the stage of that to sort of keyframe it to for it to move from switch from one camera to another like straight cut into two like different cameras so that's how i basically did it and i added some basic redshift area light in here which is hidden you know basic redshift area light and the dome light it's some um, something simple to actually render it nothing serious that's all for now about the more extrude and thanks for watching and please kindly subscribe and you can also go through my channel and the playlist and you can see if you don't understand anything there are some things that you can watch to get more information or you can still comment in the comment section to ask questions or give me feedback or something you want me to talk about thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one